That's where you're supposed to tell me there's no you and me, right? I kept your secret. Doesn't that count for something? The loan sonny's busted, and it hits the news. That decision could bite you in the ass. Starting with your father, and including your cousin Carly and her kids, and a whole lot of other people. I mean, your world is going to change, and it won't be pretty. Do I look afraid? Look, I hate that I put you in this position. First of all, it's a huge overestimation of your appeal to think you put me in any position. Not that you haven't tried, and I am not so overcome by your charm that I have forgotten to think for myself. And secondly, after dogging me for months, you finally get me in your room, and now you decide to push me away. It's for your own good. You don't get to decide what's good for me, or what I should be afraid of. Enough. You're doing it again? Just for the record, this isn't you being noble. This is you being an emotional coward. job. You learn to protect yourself. Right? Yeah. I, you know, tried to warn Lulu about the fallout that's going to land on her once everybody finds out that she's involved with the cop that brought Sonny down. I gave it the same impulse. Yeah. I told Sonny to leave the country. That he's going to listen to me. I just, sometimes I want this whole thing to just be over. You know, and then I think about what that actually means. I think about how this is going to end up, right? Just be here now, together, okay? It just doesn't seem fair. Sometimes, you know, thinking about all the lies and all these secrets and all the heartache that's about to come. And I still have you. those photos and Michael won't be charged with Claudia's murder. That's how I protected Michael. That's how I took care of him. Hey, you can't take the blame for this, Jason. Listen to me. Everything you did was out of love for Michael, right or wrong. And it just proves how much you love him and, and how deeply you love. And it's why I will never stop believing in you. You say the word and I'll never come back to Port Charles again. 
for Lucky's sake. Look, I knew that tonight was probably the last night we were ever going to spend together. And I've accepted that. And although Lucky won't be pushing for us to spend time together, we won't be able to avoid each other completely, you know that. Lucky wants to rebuild things with you as his brother, which implies time spent together. Right. Why well, I am the possibility of making this work. I don't have a lot of people in my life that matter to me. And I don't want to lose the one who's closest. I hope it's not too late.